hello guys welcome to this video so as you can see that in this project what we will do is we will make this website it's a one page website uh, and it's a full project as you can see that that's especially for HTML and CSS so that we can practice our HTML and CSS so as you can see that it's looking amazing and as you can see we have these some sections and also as you can see that our menu have fully functional and if you notice that in the menu when i'm in the top there is no background that's a transparent background and when i'm scrolling there is a solid background so and as you can see that this site is fully responsive whenever you are in the mobile it will be like that so we will see how we can make responsiveness for mobile and also for the tablet as you can see that that's our tablet view so it will be like that in the tablet so no matter which device are you on this site will be perfect for you so i will show you how you can make this all and also there is interesting thing as you can see that that's the hamburger when you come to the tablet or mobile this hamburger will appear but when you are in the desktop view something like that as you can see that our menu is changed but whenever I'm in the tablet or mobile, as you can see that this hamburger will appear. And if I click that, we have our menu. And there is interesting thing, as you can see that when I am hover to our menu, there is a background which is dynamically changed by our hover. So when I am hovering projects, the background is changed. Now it is in project as you can see that. So we will show how we can make all these things in this video and we will practice our HTML and CSS through this project. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe for more video like this one. And no more talk, let's start this video. So first of all what we need to do is we need to install our code editor so for the code editor what we will use is we will use visual studio code which is a free code editor from microsoft so it's one of the best code editor so what you can do is you can come in this url which is code.visualstudio.com i will also put this link in the description you can come this page and download the code editor so it's also available for the mac windows and linux and other platforms you can download this and install this code editor so uh, once you have visual studio code on your machine what you need to do is let's create a folder for our projects so let's say that one page project or something like that so in this project let's have our file which is first one will be the index.html and second one will be style.css and let's also create a folder which will be our images so it will be img folder in this folder we will have some image so let's paste the images so i will also put all the folder and all the file so you can practice with that so you don't need to worry about the images or all the files you will find it in the description so once you have ready all the files what you can do is you can open your visual studio code so here it is so we opened our visual studio code and let's what we need to do is i need to drag and drop this folder which i created a little moment ago so if i drag and drop it so that's it we have set up all the things so now we are in our visual studio code and here as you can see that all of our images here and also our file so also let's create an extension which we will use so let's come here in this tab which is extensions 
and search for live server. So this is the extension which we will use. So if you are not install it yet, so you can install it from here. So install live server. So once you are installed this live server, we are ready to go. So let's open our index.html and style.css. So in the index.html file, so first of all, let's create a boilerplate. So in Visual Studio Code, what we have is we have image installed, which is a nice thing. So now what we can do is we can use some shortcut to make our HTML writing process very fast. So like what I can do is I can make exclamation sign and hit enter which will create this little HTML boilerplate as you can see. So it's easy to create what you need to do is you need to make exclamation sign and after that hit tap. So it will create this one. So let's start with this. So in the title let's give it a title of my website. And after that, let's also link our style sheet. So after that, in the body, let's create our first section, which will be our hero section. So before starting the code, let's also come here and say that it will be h1 of hello world. And if I save and now what we can do is we can right click and open it with our live server which will open this HTML file with a live server as you can see that that's our live server if you notice the URL that's a local URL as you can see so let's make it a little bit of adjustment so as you can see that all the adjustment is now ready to go so that's the live server so with this live server what we can have is we will have a live reload so whenever i will make change in our html file or our work file and save we do not need to come here and refresh it will make automatically refresh and as you can see that our file is updated so that's fine so let's also open our end file or end project as you can see that that will be our end product or project so let's open it beside our working project so that we can have direction what we need to do and what we need to change. So that's our end file. So let's come to our website and start coding. So here let's remove the HTML of H1. So if I come here in my end file, so first of all, what we will create is we will create those section. First one is our hero section and second is service and third one is project and about me and that's what we are going to do we will create those section first and in the end we will create this number so we will create this number and the end of the video and first of all let's create this hero section so for the hero section first of all let's create a comment so that we can find it easily in letter so let's say that hero section and here it will be our end of hero section so between these comments we will have our code for our hero section so for the hero section let's create a section of id with a hero so here what we will have is we will have a div with a class of hero also and also we will have a container so as you can see that i am using emit because it's nice to use and it will help you to create HTML faster. So as you can see that what I wrote here earlier, as you can see, I wrote div with a hero dot container. So it will create a div with a class of hero and container. So that's easy. So if I hit enter, as you can see that that's create a div with a class of hero and container. So that's what you can write so it will help you to write your HTML code a little bit of faster. So it's nice to use. So in this div, what we will have is we will have another div. 
and here what we will have so in this div what we will have a h1 of hello sorry for that hello my name is Safan. and if I save let's come to our website and that's our website as you can see that that's our heading and as you can see in the end project we have this nice button so let's also create this button so here we will have this href and say that it will be type button and class of CTA call to action so in this button what we will have is we will have portfolio so portfolio and as you can see that that's our button so let's come to our style.css and what we need to do is first of all let's remove all the unexpected gap so let's say that padding will be zero and margin will be zero and box sizing will be border box and as you can see that we removed all the unexpected gap so after that let's come to the html and give it some style say that font size will be about 10 pixel and font family so we will use montserrat so let's grab the montserrat from the google fonts come here in the google search for fonts.google.com so if you come in fonts.google.com here you will find some google fonts which you can use so let's use montserrat so this is montserrat and if i select and let's come and customize it so let's say i will use light regular and bold so once you selected or customized you can import it from here so let's import copy this import line and what we can do is we can paste it in the top of our style.css now we can use Montserrat so let's come here and font family let's use this Montserrat and also use a fallback font family which will be sans serif so as you can see that my font is changed so that's for our HTML so as you can see that if I make it a little bit of bigger so as you can see that in this anchor tag we have something underline going on so let's also give some style for our anchor tag so in the air let's say that text decoration will be none so it will remove this underline so that's it for our anchor tag so let's come here in the container So let's say that mean height will be 100 vh and width will be about 100% and display will be flex and align items will be center and justify content will be center. So if I save now as you can see that our content is now in center. So that's fine. So let's remove the zoom as you can see that it's in the center. So if you notice that in my HTML in the div we have these two section one, first one is the hero and second one is the container this class which is container we will use this class in many section or multiple section so that's why what we did is we did this container style in the comment section so let's come here and make our style for hero section so let's make a hero section class so comment actually so end of hero section so between these comments we will have our style for hero section so in the hero let's come here and say that what we need is so first of all let's grab the id which is hero id and what we need is we need to give it a background image so it will be something url so 
so hero background as you can see that I already have this image and as you can see that that's our image in the background so after that let's also say that background size will be background size will be cover and also say that background position will be top center and position of this class will be relative so if I save as you can see that that's in place perfectly so as you can see that we have a position of relative because we will have a overlay of this section so let's create this overlay it will be an after sort elements and say that position will be absolute and if I give it left 10 sorry left 0 and top 0 and also say that height will be 100% and background not background width will be 100% so if I save and what I need to do is I need to give it a background color of black so so we forget to give it a content because we need it so as you can see that that's our overlay as you can see we can't see our hero section because it's covering the hero section so what we can do is we can make a opacity of let's say that 0.7 so it will create this effect which is kind of overlay so which will help us to create more contrast but as you can see now we have this overlay but so as you can see that we can't click our button uh, because it's under this overlay so what we can do is we can come here and say that z index of minus one and in the hero section z index of one so as you can see that now we can click it and our text is now okay so that's fine so also we have an overlay nice overlay of black so let's come here in the hero section and in the h1 let's say that display will be block and width will be about fit content and font size of 4m and position will be relative color will be let's say that white so if I save as you can see that that's our text which is looking fine so let's come here and style our button so let's come here in the hero.ctm so let's say that display will be inline block and let's give it a padding of something like 10 pixel and 30 pixel and let's give it a color of crimson and let's also give it a background color of transparent and border 2 pixel solid crimson so if I save now as you can see that that's our button so let's also make some style for the font size I will be 2 rem so 2 rem and after that text transform text transform will be uppercase and letter spacing will be 0.1 rem and margin top let's give it some margin top of 30 pixel not 20 it will be 30 and here what we need is transition because we will have a hover effect not transform transition will be 0.3 second is all not all it will be only for background color and if I save now as you can see that we have this button which is here so that's fine and so let's also make a hover for this CTA so let's come here in the hero 
let's say that dot cpa if i hover what we will change is we will change the color which will be white and also background color of crimson now if i come here and hover as you can see that so that's something ditchy here which is as you can see that the transition is for only background color but we need the transition for also the color so let's remove this from here and instead of that let's say that transition property will be background color background color and also for the color background so it will be nice as you can see so also if you want we can use white color which will look good i think yeah that's looking fine so that's okay for our button so if i come to the website in the as you can see that in the website we have this nice transition of this heading as you can see that if i refresh so let's make this one so if you wanna know more about this effect i already have a separate video on it so i will link it in the description you can check it how we can make this text reveal effect so let's make it for our website so for that what we need is we need to make this break so what we need is we need to make h1 for each line so for the hello we need separate h1 for the my name is we need separate h1 for the name we also need separate h1 so let's make it so let's remove this h1 and say that we will have this h1 which will be only for hello and let's make two more and for the second one we will have my name is and for the last one feel free to use your name so arfan that's my name so if i come here as you can see that that's perfectly looking fine and what i need is now i need to make some adjustment in the h1 so as you can see that the red box as you can see which is animating that's an span so we need to create some span or we need to create some sort elements so let's make some span here you can create sort elements instead of a span if you want so let's create a span so if i have a span in the end of the h1 what we can have now is so what we need to do is now in this hero h1 let's come here let's grab the s pen so we will have this s pen and what we need is we need to say that position will be absolute and as you can see that we used absolute here so we need to make sure that the h1 position is relative so that's fine so also say that top will be zero and left will be zero and height will be 100 percent and width will be 100% and also say that background color of this span will be crimson and that's it if i save as you can see that that's our box which we need to animate so let's make the animation so in the end of our code let's make a comment so that will be end of if keyframes so between these comments we will have our keyframes so let's make first keyframes which will be our text reveal box so let's make it text reveal box so that's red box so what i need to do is so in 50 percent let's say that width will be 100 percent and left will be zero and in 100% we will be 0 and left will be 100% so that's 
so that's will create the animation so let's apply it in our span so let's say that animation will be so the name was text rebel box and let's say that it will be one second and is if i save as you can see we are having this so let's also make some delay so let's say that animation delay animation delay will be one second so as you can see we have an animation delay so for the initial state we need our s pen to width zero so if i came here so as you can see that it's looking perfectly fine so the box is working fine so what we need is now we need to make sure that we have a nice transition or nice effect in our text so for the text let's create another keyframes so in here let's create another one keyframes text reveal and let's say that for the text what I need is I need a hundred percent and if I come hundred percent the color will be let's say that white so and in the initial state the color will be transparent instead of white so if I give it transparent we can't see it but once we have this animation which is text reveal and let's give it a one second is and if I save now as you can see that and also say that for words so that we will have this white color in forward so as you can see that we also have this text animation which is fine so what we need to do is we need to make functional our timing function so as you can see that our text box is one second so what we need is we need to make our animation for our text which will be 0.5 and let's say that animation delay will be which will be 1.5 second so once again if you want to know more about this you can watch the full video on this topic so as you can see that now our animation is looking good so the last thing what we need is we need to make it sequentially first one we will have this hello second we will have this thirdly we will have animate our name so how we can make this animation sequentially so for that we need to select our h1 separately for three times so here first of all let's come here in the h1 and select separately so hero h1 let's say that nth child so that's the first one which is our hello so let's say that animation delay will be one second or 1.5 second and for the second one so let me make it two more times so that's for the second and that's for the third one for the second one let's say that we need to increase it one more time and that will be three so that's fine first one second one and third one so let's also select this expand three more times so for that what I can do is I can say is for the nth child of h1 for the first one we will select this as man and let's say that animation delay will be one second and let's duplicate it two more time and let's say that that's for the two and that's for the third one and let's increase one second so this will be three second so if i save now as you can see that we have this nice sequence animation so but i think one second delay is too much so if i make it three second sorry 0.3 second so we need to change our animation delay from here also so let's say that one second and here it will be one second 
and let's make it two and here let's make it three second also 0.35 actually not three 1.5 and 2.5 so I think that's looking perfect so we have a mistake we need to give it a second so as you can see that we have this sequence animation going on so for the last thing what we need to do for this section is we need to align this in the left so for the alignment what we need to do is we need to make some style in our hero class so let's come here and say that in the hero id we have also a class of hero and here what i need is i need to say that max width of 1200 pixel and margin will be zero auto and padding will be let's say that zero and 50 pixel so we will have a padding and also say that justify content which will be flex a start so if i come here yeah but okay that's not pc that will be pixel so as you can see that it's now in left aligned also we have this 50 pixel padding as you can see and if you notice we have max width of 1200 which will make sure that when we will have a bigger screen as you can see that our content will remain in 1200 pixel so it's not coming here so because we are remaining max width of 1200 pixel so which is looking perfectly fine so our first section is looking fine so so that's looking fine so as you can see that in the desktop version of the, our website we have smaller font we need to increase our font size for our desktop for our tablet so we will do it in the later of this video so for now what we will do we will create the website for our mobile first design so after that we will make it responsive with media query so you don't need to worry about it so one more thing as you can see that we have a different color of our name which is Arfan. so if you want to have this in this color change what we can do is we can come here in the keyframes as you can see that that's the white color which is controlling this color so we can duplicate it make a new one and name it for the name so that the name will be text reveal name and for this one i will have a color of crimson and also say that font white will be 500 pixel or 500 so if i apply this one in our third one so if i come here where it is so that's our third one so let's come here and say that animation will be we changed the animation name so which is text reveal name and it will be same 0.5 second is and forwards so let's see so as you can see that it's looking much better as you can see that in the screen so perfectly fine and let's go to our next section so for the next section we have the service section as you can see that so let's make the service section so let's come here so let's come to the html and and first of all let's create the comment so service section and also duplicate and let's name it end of service section and between these comments we will have a code for our service section so first thing section we will have a section with the id of services services and in that we will have a div with a class of services and as you know container because we will use this container over and over in every section so that's why as you can see we have this container and we style it in the common so as you can see that in the service section we can separate this service section by two 
div as you can see that in the top we have this heading and in the bottom we have these services as you can see that for now we used demo thing so as you can see that we have this four service section so we can separate this full section with the two div first one will be the header and second one will be our services cards so let's come here and say that div will be or what i can do is i can say that top or service top and also let's say that service bottom so that we can easily understand it and in the service top we will have this heading so in the service top let's have a h1 so which will have a class of section title and also as you can see that that's the section or that's the style for our all section title so that's the same style as you can see that here and there so that's why we are using this class so that we can apply same style in every heading so we don't need to style each and every one we will style one only and apply this style with this class to other so here uh, let's say that our service or services so as you can see that in the end result we have this eye with a color of crimson so if you want this effect so what you need to do is you need to make or wrap it with a span so if i make a span and in this span i will have this eye so also make sure that you remove the space so that's fine now so let's also have some paragraph here so in the paragraph let's copy this one and if i remove it so if i save it as you can see if i come here in our website so that's our service title and that's our paragraph so also make the cards here as you can see that we have these four cards and so let's make it so in the service bottom let's have a div with a class of service item so that's the item so for each item what we have is we have an icon we have a text of heading or title or we have some paragraph so three things as you can see that for each card so first of all let's deal with this icon so for the icon let's first of all grab this icon so where i can grab this icon or i can find this icon so for this icon what we need to do is we need to go to a website which is icon 8 so that's the website so if i come here i will link it in the description so you will find this link which is icons8.com and here you will find all the icon and there are so many icon and so many creative icon actually which you can use in your project so if i search for home so as you can see that there are so many home icon which you can use so for the use what you can do is you can click the icon and also you can color it if you want let's say that i want this color you can color the icon and once you are done what you need to do is you need to download it and as you can see that they have sbg they have pdf so anything you want so you need to download it and also they have a option for embed html so for the embed what you can do is you can come here and you can embed this svg or if you want to download the png so you can embed it so for now what we will do is we will embed it so as you can see that for the embed what i need to do is i need to come here and the embed html so i need to grab this image or if i copy so you can see that copied and if i come here and if i paste it here so as you can see that that's our embed code actually that's an image so if i save in my website we have this icon so that's how we can add these icons in our website also you can download it and add it manually if you want so for now 
let's come here so that's where we can find our icon but <coughs> I already find or I already selected icon so I will use it directly so I will not come here and each time when I need icon because I already selected all my icon with this image so for you what you need to do is you need to come here and select your icon and embed HTML or you need to download it so for this icon what we need is so for the first one we will have a div first of all so that we can wrap it with a class of icon so in this div we will have our embed image so let's copy the image because I already selected and copied it so as you can see that that's the embed image so as you can see that that's the image which is I got from the icon 8 website so the process I showed you need to follow or you can use the image as you can see that so once if you here and if I save as you can see that I have this icon here so that's fine so after this icon what we will have as you can see that we have this title so let's come here so after this icon let's have a h2 of web design so for now we are using some demo so as you can see that for the four service we are using same title which is web design so you can change it so that's not a big deal so here let's come here and say some text let me copy the paragraph and paste it here so that's our first card as you can see that here that's our icon that's our title that's our paragraph so once we have finished our card so let me duplicate this service item because we will need to create more service so as you can see that that's our service item so if I duplicate it two more time or one more time so we will have these four as you can see that four service section so that's for our HTML so let's come to the style.css so in the style first of all let's create our you know what I need to create first of all let's create the comment services section and also end of service section and between this command we will have a style of our service section so let's say that service and in the service says we will have a class of service and here let's say that flex reaction so by default as you can see that that's have a style already because we have a container which is used here as you can see that in the services we use this container class and in the earlier we used this container and made some style so that's why this style is applying this section so what I need to do is I need to make sure that in this container we have this flex direction as you can see that by default its row what I need to do is I need to make it flex direction column so what I can do is I need to come here in the services flex direction will be column Oh, as you can see that that's will be services not service so as you can see that now it's working fine so our title is now in the top and our cuts is now in the bottom so as you can see that's the services which we are overwriting this container style as you can see so that's why we used two classes in this div so so that we can overwrite this container style if you want in the service section so that's the idea so once we are happy now what I can do is I need to say that text align will be center so as you can see that we have this aligned center and also come here and say that max width of about 1500 pixel and margin 0 auto so and also say that padding will be about 100 pixel 
for the top and bottom and zero so that we can have some space in the top and bottom so that's looking fine so after that let's style our section heading which is uh, services so let's come here and say that services we have a id so we have a class for this so which is section title and if i come here and say that font size of 4m and font weight will be a lightweight which is 300 and color will be white and margin bottom will be let's say that something about 10 pixel and also text transform will be uppercase uppercase and letter spacing will be point to rim so we will have a letter spacing also text align center so as you can see that our heading which is now white so why white so we need to make it black so that's our section heading which is looking fine so if you notice in our end result so we have this eye which is color crimson so for that what we did is earlier we wrap it with a S pen so now we can style the S pen so what I can say is I can say these services and dot section dot title and if I have any S pen in this title what I need to do is I need to make the color crimson so as you can see that I have this S pen only in this section title so this will make this color which is crimson so that's looking fine so after that let's do some style for our paragraph so for the paragraph as you can see that we have this style so let's come here in the paragraph so we need to make a proper selection so services and here we have a so in the services let's say that we will have a column let me make sure what is it service top okay service top and in the service top we will have this paragraph so let's come here and say that in this paragraph font size will be 1.4 m and margin top and margin top will be 5 pixel and line height of 2.5 rem actually we will have 2.5 rem of line height font weight will be 300 pixel and letter spacing will be 0 0.05 rem now as you can see that that's our paragraph but if you notice we have a pixel so we don't need a pixel in the font weight so as you can see that that's working perfectly fine now so that's okay for our service heading which is our title and this paragraph so now let's style our cards first of all come here and say that in the services we have a class of div what was that we have this service bottom so service bottom and here let's make some style so let's say that so now as you can see that that's fine so in the bottom what I need to do is I need to say that display will be flex and align items will be center and justify content will be centered so that's what we need is and also make sure that flex wrap will be wrap so that's fine so as you can see that there uh, there is not much change happened so let's come here and select individual service item so let's come here in the services let's say that service item and what I need to do is I need to say that flex basis 
which will make a width of every item so let's say that flex basis will be 80 percent so as you can see that we have 80 percent of width only and also come here and say that our display will be flex and align items will be flex start so align items will be flex start and justify content will be center and flex direction which will be column and also make some padding so that we have some room so 30 pixel will be good and border radius of 10 pixel also make a background image we have a background image so URL so if I come here and say that in the URL image which will be image 1 and also image size so background size will be cover and also margin so make sure that we have some margin of something like 10 pixel or 5 pixel 5% 5 for the left and right so if I save as you can see that that's our section card as you can see that each card have a background color so not background color that's a background image which I gave here and we have this border radius which is 10 pixel we have margin about 30 pixel we have this margin so not margin that's a padding in the so as you can see that we have 30 pixel padding and we have margin here as you can see also the content in this card is now in flex as you can see that so what i need to do is i need to make a overlay of each and every card so that we can have much contrast so to make the overlay what I need to do is I need to say that services and in the service item I will make a after sort elements so make sure that content is nothing and let's say that position will be absolute and also say that left will be zero and top will be zero height will be hundred percent and width will be hundred percent and if i give it so let's make it a background color so that we can see let's say that not white that will be black so it's not working because we need to give our item position of relative so as you can see that it's working perfectly fine so let's also decrease the opacity so let's say that opacity will be 0.4 or 0.8 so that's fine so also you can see that we can't see our text so let's make sure that our text is visible so for that z index minus one in the after and z index one in the item so it will make sure that our text is now visible if i give it a color of white and as you can see that if you notice the icon which is now fixed and it is visible so that's fine as you can see that so make sure that i have a background color nice background color so let me copy the background so instead of white so instead of this black background color what i will have a i will have a nice gradient so if i save as you can see that we have the nice gradient so that's fine so also let's come here in the service so in the column right We have this icon so let's say that height will be about 80 pixel and width will be 80 pixel border radius will be 50 percent we don't need it so after that let's say that margin bottom will be 20 pixel so we will have some space as you can see that 
so if you notice we can't see any change in the icon because what we need to do is I need to say that sorry that will be our ID of service services call right I have an icon in this icon I have image so if I say that height will be 100% and width will be 100% now as you can see that is changed and also say that object feet will be cover now if I change the size each will change it so if I give it 50% or 50 pixel now as you can see okay it's not working because we have a call right it's not call right it will be service bottom sorry that's my fault service bottom so as you can see that that's our small icon so if I give it 80 pixel it will be perfect so what I need to do is so let's say that the image a style which we will need for each and every image so for that what I can do is I can make it in the common so let's make it in the common because I need this style in each and every image so for that what I can say that for the every image no matter where it is for the every image I need to have height 100% with 100% and object fit cover so it will make sure every image have a nice size of its parent so that's fine so also let's come here and grab this h2 so for the h2 let's come here and say that services and service item service item and in the service item what we will have is we will have this h2 and let's say that font size of about 2 rem and also make sure that we have a color of white so that we can see it properly so margin will be about so let's say that margin bottom only so we have some space with the preg graph so text transform will be uppercase so now as you can see that that's our title and also we have this 10 pixel margin bottom so let's also grab the preg graph and here what I need to do is I need to say that color will be white because we also need to see the preg graph and also say that text align will be left and also make sure that font size will be 1.4 m and line height of about 1.9 m so which is looking fine as you can see that so as you can see our preg graph which we are using so many times so let's also say that we need to make the style for our preg graph in the common so that we will have automatically this style for every time which when we will create preg graph so for the preg graph let's also make a common style so here let's paste it so if anywhere we have a preg graph we will apply this style automatically so we don't need to come and every time when we have a preg graph because in each preg graph we will have basically same style so as you can see that that's an issue because that's an white preg graph if i give the same color preg graph in the heading it will be not able to see so let's change it so we can overwrite it here so as you can see that's our service top preg graph we don't need anything here or we need to say that color will be black so as you can see that we are able to see 
and also make sure that let me copy so let's say that this will be our common style for the break graph instead of the previous one so if i come here and remove this and paste it so that's fine as you can see that so black is fine so whenever we need we can change it to the white so if i come here and the service break graph we can make it white if we want so services so let's say that services dot service bottom or service item we have a pack graph and if i need this i need to make the color of this pack graph which will be white so as you can see that if you want so it's not working right it's not working so service item services so as you can see that i made a mistake so as you can see that it's working also say that text align will be left so it's now in left so it's working perfectly fine so if you notice now we don't have our border radius though if you notice that in the service item we have a border radius of 10 pixel so it's not working because we need to make sure that we will have a overflow hidden here so that's we'll make sure that everything will be fine as you can see that now we have back this border radius so as you can see that the card is looking much better now and make sure that we have a nice cap so let's come here in the service bottom and let's give it a margin top of 50 pixel so that we have some gap here so as you can see that it's looking perfect we don't need this so it's looking perfect we perfectly finished our second section which is services so let's go to the third section which is recent projects so for the third section let's come to the html and first of all you know what to do we need to make a comment which will say projects section end of service section and between this comment we will have code for our service so not service that's our project actually so first of all let's have a section with the id of about projects so let's give it the id of projects projects if i can spell and in here as you know we have a div with a class of projects also and also we will have a class which is container which will make sure that it will have a hundred percent of height and will, uh, it will give some initial style so in this container what we will have is we will have two section or two div first div is only for this heading and second div we will have our service as you can see that not service i am still talking service that is projects so for the first div we will have this heading and for the second div we will have all our projects so let's create two div which will be project headers project projects header and we will have also second div which will be projects so let's say that all projects will be here so all projects so for the projects header we will have a h1 which we will have a section title class because if you remember we make this section title class in our service too so that we will have similar kind of a style by automatically so let's come here and say that service not service why i am saying service again and again recent projects 
projects so if you notice as you can see that the project which is crimson color so if you want this what you need to do is you need to make sure that the project is wrapped with s pen so let's make s pen and wrap our projects so it will make sure that it will have this color so that's fine so after that let's make our cards for our project one on project five we will have how many project we will have five projects i think yeah so let's make five cards so in all projects what i need to do is i need to make sure that we will have a div with a class of project item so project item so each item so each item we will have a title we will have a subtitle we have paragraph and we have an image so there are so many things going on so in the each item we will divide this thing in two parts in the first part we have info and second part we have image so for the first part let's make a div with a class of so come here and let's make a div with a class of project info no uh, project info and in the project info we will have our h1 and our subheading and our title and also let's make sure that we will have another class which will have is project image so make sure we have two div in each project item so in the project info let's create a h1 which will have projects project number one not top so also let's make a h2 which will say coding is love coding lab coding is love and also make sure that we have some paragraph and in the image what i need is i need to put an image so in the image source what i will have i'll have image one so that's an demo image so for the alternative we will have img so that's fine for one card so as you can see that we have five projects so let's copy this project item so as you can see that's our project item so let's copy this whole div four more time so we have one two three four five so now we have five card as you can see so let's say that and the last one will be five this one will be four and this one will be three yeah three and the other. this one will be second one so if i save and if i come here as you can see that we have these five projects going on here and we have this our projects title so if i come here in our style if you remember that i made a, a style already for our section title if i come here which is if i come here in the section title as you can see that i made this so what i need to do is i need to make it common so that whenever i use the class section title it will apply the style for it so what I need to do is I need to remove that this service we don't want this specifically for the service I want this anytime when I call this so we don't need this selection of ID anymore so if I now save so as you can see that now it is in common so if it is in common we will have this style in our also projects as you can see that so that's looking fine so let's start styling for our projects so after end of service section so let's start our project section so projects section end of projects so end of projects so between them let's style so first of all projects and we have a class of projects also and here what I need to do is I need to make sure that the flex direction is column now as you can see that the flex direction is column and our what is it 
and our title is in top so perfect so also make sure that max width will be 1200 pixel and also make sure that it's in that middle so margin 0 auto and also make sure that we have a padding of about 100 pixel from the top and bottom so as you can see that that's working perfectly fine so let's come here in the heading so projects and we have a project header what is it project header or project header hmm, project header okay projects header and in here we have h1 and let's say that margin bottom of let's make it 50 pixel so as you can see that we have 50 pixel gap and also come here to the all projects so projects all projects and here what I need to do is I need to say that display will be flex and align items so as you can see the display will be flex and align items will be center and justify content will be also center and flex direction which will be column so that's looking fine as you can see that it's also in column so after that let's come here in the projects item so projects and projects item so for the each item what I need to say that I need to display it flex and I need to say that so I need to make sure that align items is center and justify content is center and flex direction is column yeah and also make sure that we have a width of 80% and also make sure margin we have margin of 20 pixel and auto so that we have gaps and overflow will be hidden and make sure that we have a border radius so that it looks smooth so border radius 10 pixel will be good so we can't see it anything because it's not project item it's project item yeah project item so it's looking perfect as you can see that the width is 80 percent we have 20 pixels 20 pixel bottom here bottom margin and we have border radius as you can see that here in the bottom and in the top if I give it a background if you can see so I will give it a background don't worry so it's looking perfect so what I need to do is now let's come here in the paragraph so first of all we need to make sure about this h1 so come here in the projects projects and project info in go not in go and it will be info so make sure that we have a padding of 30 pixel here in the content and also let's say that flex basis will be 50 percent and background color will be white and let's come here and say that height will be about 100% and display will be flex align items will be center not center make sure that left align so that flex start so justify content will be center and flex 
direction will be column and background color let's give it a background color of not white I don't need background color of white make sure that I have a background color of something good looking some background color of this one so that's an hexa code so as you can see we have this color it's not looking good I think we should use this color okay I have the gradient color okay let me copy and make sure that instead of background I will use a background image because the gradient so let me paste the gradient here also make sure that our project's color is white so as you can see that the color is white and the background is our gradient color which I give here and as you can see that our paragraph having a a style but it's black as you know that we made a common style in the top which is color black we can overwrite it we can make it white so after that what I need to do is let's come to this h1 so for that what I need to do is I need to come to the projects and in the projects in the project info in this h1 what I will need is I will need to say font family will be Montserrat we don't need to do it I need to say that font size only 4 RAM not 2 RAM and font weight will be about 500 which will be regular so as you can see that that's our project so that's fine so after that let's go to the h2 which is coding is love so projects and project info and we have this h2 so let's come here and say that font size will be about 1.8 ram not ram so font weight will be 500 as our title so 500 and also make sure that I have a space in top so margin top will be 10 pixel so as you can see that I have little bit more I think it will be 300 good what you say sorry as you can see that will be font weight so that's looking fine I think instead of 500 or 500 is good yeah good so after that let's also say that our color for the paragraph will be white not black so instead of P let's select paragraph and here let's say that color will be white and it's looking good so let's also make resize of this div which is our image so come here in the projects and we have a div with a project image and here what I need to do is I need to say that flex basis will be 50% and height will be about 300 pixel and make it a overflow hidden so as you can see that we have resized our div so after that if you notice that if you hover we have a nice transition of this image and also if you notice we have a black overlay in this image so let's make those things so for the overlay as you know what I need to do I need to make a sort elements after so make sure that content is nothing and position is absolute left is 0 and top is 0 and height will be 100% and width will be 100% and also background color of for now let's say that black we will change it 
and if I give the position of our image relative it will work so as you can see that it's now 100% black so I don't need 100% black I need to say that the opacity will be about 0.7 so as you can see but we don't need black color so instead of black color I will use the same gradient which we used here so let me paste it here that's the same so as you can see that it's looking much better so also what I can do is I can make this transition of this image when I hover over it so we can do it easily so what I need to do is I need to say if I select project so if I hover project I need to grab the image so in the project image so project image I have this image and I need to say that the transform it will be a translate scale so a scale will be 1.1 so if I save it not that this one so it's not working okay as you can see that I have a mistake it will be projects so not projects what I'm doing so under the projects we have each item so which is projects item so if I hover any item it will do the hover effect so if I save now as you can see that we have this hover effect for every projects but it's doing so fast we need to make it slowly or looking much smoothness so for that what I need to do is I need to come here and in the projects in the projects uh, if I can spell project image I need to select the image and say that transition will be 0.3 second is and only from transform now it will have a smooth transition as you can see that it's looking fine so that's for our projects it's looking fine so we finished our projects as we can see that it's looking perfect so now let's make our about me section so let's come to the HTML and here let's make a, first of all let's make some comments about section also duplicate end of about section <clears throat> and here first of all let's have a section with an ID of about okay in this about I will have a div with a class of about so about and also have a container class so in this div let's have a, another div as you can see that in our end result there are two parts so the first part which is this one which is the heading and the text so this will be our left and this image which will be our right side so we will name this div which is first one we will name it column left and also we will have another one which will be our column right so in the left what I need is I need a div so if I make it bigger as you can see that so as you can see in the left we have this image and in the right we have about me info which is heading about me and some other things so these two parts as you can see in the left we have image so let's make it in the left we will have our image so in here let's have another div which will be about img so about image so here I will have our image which is about image and here I'll have this IMG alternative and in the right side so in the column right what I need is I need as h1 which will have a class also so as you know 
the class is section title and also let's have an about here and also as you can see that if I come here where it is the me which is red color or crimson color as you can see so for that what I need is we need a span and wrap it with a span so if I make it like that you should be perfect so in the h2 what I need is I need to say that front end development front end development or developer okay and we will need a paragraph so let me copy the paragraph here and that's the paragraph what we need So after that we need this button which is an anchor tag so if I come here and anchor tag and here what I need to say is download resume so download resume so that's fine and that's our end of our about section so that's what we need so if I save now and come not that if I save now and come to our website make a refresh so as you can see that that's our about me section where everything is kind of messing out so let's make it and style it perfectly so in the style here after end of project so let's have a comment for our about section and also make end of about section and here first of all let's grab the about class so about so here let's say that flex direction will be about column so as you can see that noticed our image which is now in left side but as you know we are designing the mobile design first but in the mobile the image in the bottom so for that what we need is we need to make it column reverse so that it reverse the column so column reverse column reverse and if I make it so as you can see that the image is bottom and the heading and other thing is in the top so which is perfectly fine and also say that text align which will be center and also max width of about 1200 pixel and margin 0 auto also make a padding some about 100 pixel and 20 pixel so if I save it will be fine as you can see that we have some padding in the top and also left and right so after that let's grab our column left which is actually the image section so width will be about let's say that 250 pixel so height will be about 360 pixel and if I save as you can see that that's resized our image so also let's come here in the about and let's grab our column right so column right call right which will be actually width of 100 percent and also let's come here in the about let's grab the column right and grab the h2 which is actually this one front end development so make it some style so here what i need is i need to say that font size of about 2.5 prem let's test it out so that's too much big 0.5 that's too much 1.5 action so 1.5 is good not bad also say that font weight of 500 and also make some increasement so also make some increase here so it will look good i think and also say that letter spacing will be 1.2 rem Yeah, point to rem actually so that's fine and also make some margin bottom 
so margin bottom which will be about 10 pixel so that's fine as you can see that everything is going well so also as you can see that that's our preg graph but we have not a space between preg graph and this button so let's first of all make some space here so if i copy that and instead of h2 let's select our preg graph and say that margin bottom will be about 20 pixel and that's fine as you can see that we have now much better view so also style that so as you can see that that's our button but if you remember we already have a styled a button in our CTA here in the hero section we can apply the same style so for that what I need to do is I need to come to the hero and if you remember it is the CTA which is giving the style of this button so if I crop that here or cut it from there and here let's say that instead of grabbing it from the hero I will grab it from anywhere so whenever I will have a CTA class it will give this style so make sure that your button which is the about me have also a class so the class will be CTA so if I come to my about section as you can see that that's our button but if you notice that the button text is now white so we can't see it so for that we what we need is we need to make it crimson so we can do it easily so I'm here about call right or CTR yeah, we are we can grab it directly or what I can do is I can say the color of this CTA will be black now as you can see that it's looking fine also let's make some margin bottom margin bottom will be about 30 pixel or what you say 50 pixel let's make some more yeah 50 pixel is good looking so it's looking fine as you can see that that's our button for resume or you can make changes let's say that I need the padding will be about 10 pixel and 20 pixel and also make sure that I have a smaller font size of 20 pixel or 2 rem so it's looking much better I think so now let's come to this section which is our image so first of all come here in the about and call left and about img so that's the about img what is the wrapper of our image so here what I need to do is so if I come here as you can see that I have a border border kind of thing so what I need to do is I need to make it with our sort elements of this image so let's create a sort elements so after if I come here not after actually IMG image after okay so if I come here and let's say that the content will be nothing and position will be absolute and also left will be about let's say that minus 33 pixel and top will be 1 9 pixel and height will be let's say that 98 percent and width will be 98 percent also and let's give it a border so border will be 7 pixel solid and crimson so if I save if I come to my site we can't see it because I need to make the image position relative so okay okay I don't need so that is a mistake I don't need to make it for the image I need to make the image wrapper so as you can see that our sort elements is now on this wrapper so what I need to do is I need to say that 
z index of minus 1 so that it will be under this image as you can see but so if you notice that we have a little gap here going so how we can make this gap so it's very easy so for that what I need to do is I need to come to the image and let's say that border will be 10 pixel solid and white if I give it a white border and if I come here as you can see that we also have this but if you notice as you can see that we have something issue here so for that what I need to do is I need to say that height will be 100% and width will be 100% so as you can see that it's removed the gap it's removed the issue so that's fine looking good so the about me section is kind of done as you can see that so after this one as you can see it's looking similar we have this or we can make the I think our H2 is looking better yeah that's looking better so after that what we have we have this contact info section where we have these three section which have a nice hover effect so let's make so also as you can see that we have this icon which we can grab from the icon8.com so I'll put the link in the description you can go to the website and grab your own icon so that's fine so let's come to the HTML and grab our code for the contact section so let's make the contact section contact section and here what I need is end of contact section and here let's say that first of all make a section with an ID of contact and also in this ID what I need is I need a div with a class of contact and also a class of container so and here what I need is I need a div and also in this div I have a h1 as you can see that in this contact section we can divide it with two div first one is the heading and second one is the all three cards so we will have these two div as you can see that first one will be our h1 and for the second one we will have these cards so for the first one we will have this h1 and here we will have also class which is section title so that we don't need to style it it's already styled in section class and here what I will say I will say that contact info contact info and if you notice that our info is colored by crimson so what I can do I can wrap it with the S pen so it will make the effect now if I save and come here as you can see that it's looking perfect contact info so in this div where our card will be so what I need is I need to make a class in this div the class will be contact items contact items and here we will have our every item so for the first one so that we have so for the first one we will have contact item so you need to be careful it's contact items and each one will be contact item so you need to be careful about it the class and here what we have for the each contact item we have a icon we have a heading and info so that's it so for the each contact item what I have I have a div with a class of icon so here what I will have I will have my icon which you will find from the icon 8 so I just paste it here so also what I need I need to make another div which we will have the class of contact 
info conduct info means this heading and this information together we are giving it a div we have contact info so for the each item so here i will have this h1 which will have for the first one we will have phone and let's make some phone number so let me copy that and let me copy this whole item of div so as you can see that that's our contact item so as you can see we have t contact item so i need to copy it two more time so for the second one what i need to do i need to change the name which will be email and also let's change the image of icon so as you can see that that's our image for the second one and also what i need is i need to change the number into the mail and also what i need to do is i need to make the third one address and also let's say that i wanna change the image also because it's the icon this icon okay so for the icon let's change the image so once again which you will find it from the icon8.com so i will put the link in the description don't worry so also let's give it the address instead of the phone number because it will not make any sense so as you can see that our information is in perfect place but we need to make it style a little bit more so the end of our HTML is here and let's come to the style.css and here let's create our comment for the contact section and also let's say that it will be end of contact section. So first of all what I need is contact and contact let's make the flex direction of column so as you can see that now everything is in column and after that let's say that max width will be 1200 pixel and also margin 0 auto So that's fine so after that let's come to the items contact items we have all the our item in this div which is contact items okay so let's come here and let's say that contact and contact items and what i need is width will be 80 percent and also say that padding will be 20 pixel not 80 percent let's say that we'll have 100 percent so that's fine so let's say that come here each item so in the each item what i need is i need to make sure that width will be 80 percent for the mobile of course so padding will be 20 pixel and text align will be center and border radius will be about 10 pixel and also let's have some padding of 30 pixel and margin of also 30 pixel and justify content will be center also let's give it a display flex first of all and align items center mm -hmm. center and box shadow let's give it a box shadow of 0 pixel 0 pixel and 18 pixel 0 and let me copy the color which is a blackish color 
with a little bit of opacity not much opacity here so as you can see that we have some opacity of shadow so that's looking fine so also if you notice that we have a 30 pixel of padding and 30 pixel of margin as you can see that and also we have this box shadow and if you notice that our content is now in flex direction so also if you can see that everything is perfectly fine but what I need is I need to make sure that it will be like that so it's not lot so it's not looking good for now so to make it like that what I need to do is I need to make sure that our div is in flex direction column so if I say that flex direction will be column so that's kind of looking good as you can see that so after that let's come to the icon so contact and icon here let's say that width will be about 70 pixel and margin margin zero auto and margin bottom I need something about let's say 10 pixel so as you can see that that's much smaller and we have the 70 pixel margin bottom and also let's style our h1 so for the contact info we have this h1 it is info or contact info it is contact info okay contact info so that's fine as you can see in the h1 what i need is font size of about 2.5 ram and also what i need is font weight of about 500 and margin bottom about 5 pixel so that's what i need for the h1 so it's looking fine so let's grab the h2 so for the h2 let's say that font size will be about 1.3 ram and line height of about 2 ram and font weight of 500 so if i save now as you can see that it's looking fine the font so as you can see that it's looking fine so here if i need to make it smaller like this one so we need to make a width of these items so for the items let's say that instead of 100 percent i'll have it about let's make it 300 pixel so as you can see that we have 300 pixel or something 400 pixel will be look good i think yeah it's looking good 400 pixel yeah so also let's make the hover effects which is as you can see that here so it's an hover effect with our box shadow so here what i need to do is as you can see that in the each item we have this box shadow so i will make a hover effect of each item so if i make a hover effect and here i will say that box shadow will be zero pixel zero pixel and also five pixel let's in decrease the spread and also make sure that the color is the same so as you can see that our hover effect is working but it's kind of quickly it's not a smooth so for that what i need to do is i need to make a transition of 0.3 second is and for the box shadow and now if you can see that we have this nice going on effect so it's looking perfectly fine as you can see that if you want you can make the change of this number
so after that what i need to do is i need to make what i need i need to make our this little footer which you can see that in the bottom so let's make this footer the last section so let's come to the html and let's make this footer so after end of contact let's make the footer and the footer and here let's have a section with an id of footer and also have a div with a class of footer and also have a container and here what i need is i will have a div with a class of brand and as you can see that in the brand i will have my name so let's as you can see that in the name in the first letter which is crimson color so for that what i need to do is i need to wrap this character or letter only with s pen so for the h1 so in the h1 i will have my name and specifically what i need is i need to make a sure that i wrap span the first letter also let's remove this gap so also here let's wrap the span with this a so fine so as you can see that that's my name and i just wrapped this first letter with the span so after that what we have is we have this so this subheading so let's make h2 and let's paste the text and after that we have social icons so let's have a div with a class of social icon social icon and in this div i'll have another div of social item and in each item we will have an icon so here let's say that we will have a anchor tag because i want this to be clickable so i will have this anchor tag where i will put my link so for now let's use demo hash and here what i need is i need to put my icon so once again you can find this icon from the iconsate.com if you come this website and search for your icon and if you found this your icon what you can do is you can click this if i make it bigger and embed html you can find this img tag as you can see that or you can download it and add it in your website so i just do it previously so i do not need to come and go here so that's fine for the first one as you can see that so let's copy this item and make it two more time three time i think how much we have we have four yeah so for the second one which is our instagram so let me copy the image for this one so that's the image and replace it for the third one so it's looking perfectly fine as you can see that so after that what i need is we need a copyright text as you can see that so what i will do i will come here so after this social icon div i will have my paragraph which will say copyright so let me copy this text from here paste it here so that's my copyright text so if i may come to my side as you can see that that's all our content so let's style this so let's come to the style.css and make our style for the footer so here so footer and also end of footer and here what i need is in the footer id 
I will have a background color so let me copy the gradient color which I already used in the many section so if I save as you can see that that's the gradient color so which we are using here so as you can see that that's 100 VH we need to decrease the size of height as you can see that that's too much so let's come to the footer and footer class which is controlling this height so let's say that mean height will be 200 pixel only so as you can see that that's 200 pixel mean height so also let's say that flex direction will be column and padding top will be 50 pixel and padding bottom will be 10 pixel so if you look good as you can see that so after that let's come to the h2 which is this one so before that as you can see that we have this h1 which is our brand and if you notice that our brand and our heading brand is same styled so if you can see that this one and this one styled pretty much same so what I can do is I can style this one in the common so that I can place the style also here so let's come to the common before this heading I need to come here and say that brand so whenever I will have this brand I will have this style so front size about let's say that font size of 3m and also text transform will be uppercase and also say that color will be white so if you now see that that's our white and also make sure that the S pen is colored crimson now as you can see that we have the first letter is nice looking so that's fine as you can see that here and there so after that what I need I need to come back my footer and here what I need to do is I need to grab my h2 so let's grab the footer h2 and make some style let's say that color will be white and also font weight will be 500 and font size will be about 1.8 RAM and also letter spacing about 0.1 RAM and margin top will be 10 pixel and margin bottom about 10 pixel that's fine as you can see that that's our subheading your complete web solution and now let's come to the icon and make them flex so let's come here and say that in the footer social icon make sure that display flex and make some margin bottom 30 pixel and if you save as you can see that they are now in a row so as you can see the icon is too much big what I need to do is I need to resize that icon so for that what I need to do is I need to come to the footer and social item social item this time and here let's say that height will be 50 pixel and width will be also 50 pixel and also say that margin bottom only 5 pixel for the left and right so, so as you can see that we have margin for the left and right only 5 pixel and we have our icon with resized 
by 50 pixel so if you notice that our icon is kind of black and white and when I hover it's having the color back so let's make this hover effect so for that what I need to do is I need to come to the footer and social items and here let's grab the image and say that grayscale so not grayscale it will be filter CSS filter so if you come here and filter let's say that grayscale if I give it grayscale 1 and save as you can see that now our color is gone it's only black and white and if I make it 0 our color will be back so for now let's make it 1 and when I will hover the item it will come back the color hover and if I come and here let's say that filter and grayscale will be 0 and if you notice that it's working perfectly but we need the smoothness so for the smoothness what I need to do I need to make some transition when 3 second is and for the filter and if I save as you can see that we have transition and everything is looking perfect so for the last thing what I need to do is I need to make sure about our footer which is looking good but what we need is we need to make sure that it is white so that we can see so footer we have a paragraph which is actually our copyright so color white and also make some smaller font size 1.3 them so as you can see that it's looking perfect awesome awesome so our website is kind of done for the mobile we need to make sure about the responsiveness so first of all if I make it bigger as you can see that the text which is not looking good we need to make it bigger sized the service item is not looking good we need to make it in a row instead of column so also as you can see that our projects is not looking good at all so let's make responsiveness so first of all let's come to the tablet size and if I come here and let's say that let's make a comment media query for tablet so if I come here and let me duplicate it so this one will be for ant and here let's create our media query media only screen and mean height not height mean width mean width of about 768 pixel so that's for our mobile so not mobile that's for our tablet so for the tablet what I need to do is as you can see first of all let's grab the CTA which is the button we need to increase the size of this button so for that what I need to do is I need to come here and dot CTA and let's say that font size about will be 2.5 gram and also padding will be 20 pixel and 60 pixel so if I come here and save it now as you can see that it's our in tablet and the button is kind of bigger as you can see that if I come to the mobile size as you can see that it's a smaller and once I am in the tablet it's looking better so also make sure that our service which is that this text let's increase this one 
for the tablet let's say that font size will be 7 rem yeah so okay we need to make sure that it have a section title so as you can see that that's our service which is looking much better now we have this bigger let's make it six instead of seven it will look good so fine as you can see so after that let's increase this h1 for our tablet so let's come here and also make sure we have a hero and end of hero because we want our style here so in the hero I will have a h1 which font size will be 7 rem and as you can see that our h1 is now bigger 7 rem as you can see it's looking much better I think so if I come to the mobile it is smaller and if I come to the tablet it's now bigger so that's fine so after that let's come to the service here what I need to do is I need to make sure that everything is in column not not column everything will go to the row so for that what I need is I need to come to the hero section not hero sorry service section service section and make sure that end of service section here and here what I need is I need to make sure services dot what was the class for the service if I come here service bottom so service bottom dot service and let's say that flex basis will be about 45 pixel so 45 percent so flex basis will be 45 percent so what i am doing is i am making this flex basis 45 percent so in each row i will have two service and if i save it it's not working why it's not working services bottom i think service bottom or services bottom service bottom yes. okay I think we need to select it with the no it's not working why it is not working so we need to make sure that it's in the right class I think not service it's service item as you can see that in the service bottom I have this service item so it will work now as you can see that our width is now 45 percent and also make sure that we will have the perfect margin so let's say that margin will be about 2.5 percent so if I give it perfect margin it will be as you can see that in the each row we have now two service so as you can see that if I give it my flex basis of 45 percent and margin 2.5 percent it's now perfectly aligned and as you can see that in each row i have only two service as you can see that so that's looking perfectly fine so after that let's come to our projects so after that let's come to the projects here let's say that project end of project and here what I need is so I need to make sure that it will look like this one as you can see that so to make it look like that what I need to do I need to come to the projects and projects in the project I will have a height of about 
400 pixel and margin of 0 I will have no margin left and right width will be 100 percent border radius will be 0 if I save as you can see that we don't have border radius and also what I need to do is I need to come to the projects and all project if I am let me check the class what was it okay in the projects I'll have this project header title and okay I'll have project item actually instead of projects here I'll have the item so now as you can see that it's 100% width and there is no border radius and the margin is 0 so all thing is perfectly fine and also what I need to do is I need to come here in the info projects all projects and project info I need to make sure that height it 100% and also for the image it will be the same so for the info for the image and also make sure that it's now in column what I need to do is I need to make sure that it's in the row the flex direction so come here in the products and project flex direction will be column and if I give it column sorry if I give it row it's not working why right? it's not working okay we need to make sure it is project not project so now as you can see that it's working but it's kind of coming here as you can see all oh, I got it what I need to do is I need to make sure that I need to give the flex direction in the project item not projects so project item if I give here so as you can see that it's working perfectly fine now our project item is looking better and if you notice that the even number which is the 2 and the 4 in the 2 and the 4 which is the even number item the project 2 and project 4 having the image in the left side so for that what I need to do is I need to grab it with the nth child so nth child if it is even I need to say that flex direction will be row reverse so as you can see that if I come here in my website now as you can see it's now row reversed it's looking perfect so if I come here so as you can see for the mobile it will be like that for the mobile the cards will be here for the mobile and for the tablet it will be like this one which is looking good for me so let's also come here in the about if I come here in my end project as you can see that it's now in a row as you can see so we need to change it now it's in column so for the so let's create a comment for our about and here let's say that what I need is in the about flex direction will be row 
so if I make it row as you can see that it's now row but the picture is kind of showing weird thing as you can see so we need to fix all the things also we need to make the alignment so for that what I need to do I need to first of all let's come to the about column left so column left and here let's say that width will be 600 pixel and height will be 400 pixel and padding left will be 60 pixel and if I save now you can see that that's much better looking picture so also what I need to do is I need to make sure about this border so about dot about call left and about image we have this after and here what I need is I need to do a left will be minus 45 percent not person it will be pixel top will be 24 pixel and height will be let's say that 98 percent we need to make sure about top okay so height will be 95 98 sorry width will be 98 percent and border we need to increase the border size which will be 10 pixel solid crimson and z index minus one we do not need to change it because it is already minus one so as you can see that our border is now having a new width and something new position so also make sure about the right content which is now in aligned in the center we need to make sure that about it is aligned in the left so to make it what I need to do I need to come to the about and call the right and text align will be left and also make sure that padding is 30 pixel so as you can see that our align is the left so but we need to make sure about this h1 so for the h1 we need to grab it and need to say that text align will be left and if I save as you can see that now it is in C so as you can see that it is in left so it's looking better so if I come to the mobile it will be like that if I come to the tablet it will be like that perfect so it's almost identical as you can see that so after that let's come to the contact so let's make the contact little bit more awesome so after about let's come here contact and here in the contact what I need is I need to come here contact and contact make sure that flex direction is column so when you make sure about so also let's make some padding of 100 pixel 0 so that you will have some space in the top and bottom also align item center and justify content center and also let's say that mean height will be 20 bh So that's fine here I need to make sure about the width will be about 100% display flex and flex direction will be row and now as you can see that it is row but if I come to the mobile it will be like that if I come to the tablet it will be like that so let's also make sure that we don't have any margin so margin 0 
and also you will have some padding of about 20 pixel so that's looking fine as you can see that so as you can see that we have so much gap here so let's come here and say that I don't want the margin so in the item let's say that margin will be about 20 pixel so it's looking fine if I give it 20 pixel yeah 20 pixel is good so if you come here as you can see that our card is kind of small but this one is bigger because as you can see that our flex reaction is now in column in this div we need to make it row so in the item what I need to do I need to say that flex reaction will be row so as you can see that it's now in row and looking much better and also let's make sure that the icon the icon is about height and width of 100 pixel so if I make it width of 100 pixel and what I need to do not 100 actually 80 pixel let's make it 80 so it's looking fine and also what I need to do is I need to come to the image as you can see that there is some cutoff here so I need to make sure that the image is object fit none so if I come to the icon and the image and make sure that object fit is none sorry none and if you can see that sorry not none contained so instead of none we can use contain so it will contain that as you can see that the image is perfectly in place now and also make sure that it is 100 pixel so it will look much better I think as you can see that so also let's make some adjustment in the info contact info and make sure that width is 100% and text align left and padding left will be about 20 pixel so it's 20 pixel left as you can see that also we are having now much better view so it's looking perfect as you can see so in the bigger size like desktop it will be perfect and in the small size like tablet it will be like that and the mobile it will be like that so it's fully responsive as you can see that so we don't need to worry about the footer as you can see that the footer is good so now let's make the responsiveness for our desktop view so for the desktop view as you can see that it's looking fine the hero section but the service section is not looking good so let's make some change here sorry so media query for desktop and that's the end of media query and here what I need is I need to make sure that service services actually call right not call right it is service bottom I think service bottom and service item what I need to do I need to make sure that flex basis is 22% and margin 
is 1.5 percent if I save now as you can see that that's all in a row oh sorry my bad my bad I need to make sure about I need to make the media query first of all so media only screen and mean width of about 1200 pixel here what I need is in the about so let me paste it here so as you can see that it's only for the hour desktop so if I come to the mobile so it will be like that in the so the tablet it will be like that in the mobile it will be like this one so it's fully responsive as you can see that so if I come here in my actual website now as you can see that but if you can see that the paragraph in the service which is not looking our like so let's also make sure about this so if I come to the service where it is in the service in the heading in the service top So let's come here and let's say that service in the service job what I need is I need to make sure about the width width of the about let's say that 500 pixel and margin 0 auto so it will be perfect as you can see that so no matter where I go it's in perfectly placed so let's say that max width so as you can see that so also let's make some change here so in the overlay let's make it 0.9 actually yeah 0.9 is looking better this overlay so everything is going well and we made the website fully responsive as you can see that so it's looking like that like that it's looking like this one okay so everything is now done one more thing to go which is our header so last thing so let's make our header which is this one that's an interesting fact going on here as you can see that when I sprawl we have this solid color but when I am in the top we don't have any color for the background so that's looking so much interesting as you can see so now come here and let's make the header so first of all let's make our header for the mobile so if I come to the index in the top here before our hero section we will make our header so let's make a comment header and this will be end of header and here let's make our code so in the section I'll have an ID of header sorry header and also let's make a div with a class of header and also a container and here in the div I will have a, another div which will be our logo sorry in this div we will have our navbar so let's have a class with a navbar and here I will have our div of logo which is the brand I already styled it before so in this brand I will have a anchor tag where I will have hero 
and we will also have a h1 so in here I will have a s pan with this s and my name and also have this s pan with a and also my name not double a so that's fine as you can see that that's our name if you can see that so after this one what I need is I need our nav list so after this trip brand I'll have a, another div with our nav list class so here I will have another div with a class of hamburger so basically that will be our hamburger and here I will have another div with a class of bar so that's for our hamburger so after this div we will have our ul where will be our list and each list will have an anchor tag so that we can click and this will be our menu so for the first one let's say that home second one will be the services third one will be the projects and this one will be about and this one will be the contact so as you can see that that's our little menu here so that's the code for our heading so let's style this heading so if i come to the style.css so let's come here in the top we will have our style so let's come here and before this heading so before this hero we will have our header css so header section also that will be end of our header section so in this header section let's create the style so first of all let's say that our header will be the fixed so let's say that in display will be fixed sorry not display so in the header let's say that the position will be fixed because our header will be sticky header which will be sticky in the top so it will be sticky in the top as you can see that we can't see it because we need to make a z index of about 1000 or something like that so as you can see that we can see our header which is as you can see that here so also what I need to do is I need to make sure that it is in the left zero in the top zero and also it have a width of 100% and not 100% it's a width of VW 100 VW okay top zero okay so that's fine and height of auto so that's fine as you can see that in the middle we have our list for the header so let's come to the header and header so let's give it a mean height of about 8vh or 10vh something like that as you can see that it's now in the top so 8vh is good of our background color let's make it a background color let me copy the color it's an RGB color so as you can see that we have this nice transparent color if you can notice in the top so also what I need is let's come to the nav bar actually so header nav bar we have to display flex so align items after display flex align items will be center and justify content will be space between so as you can see that now here it is our brand and here is our menu so also make sure that width is 100% height is about 100% and max width will be 
1300 pixel and also make sure that they have a padding of 0 and 10 for the left and right and that's it if I save now as you can see that that's a space between and that's our header width of 100% so everything is going perfectly so after that what I need is I need to make sure about the UL so for the UL I need to make it something like that okay so let's come here and in the header so I need to make sure so let's be consistent here so header and here nav list I will have our UL so make sure that list style is none and also position it absolute and background color will be let's make a background color this one and also width of 100 view width and height of 100 view height viewport height and left of 100% so if I remove it for now I will show you why I am removing it so also say that top will be 0 so let me instead of 100% let me give it 0 so that I can see so as you can see that that's our UL now full of our screen so also make sure that display is flex so that we can make our content in the center so let's say justify content center align items center and z index of about 1 and overflow x is hidden and if I save as you can see that now our content is center but we need to make sure that our flex direction is column if I give it column as you can see that that's our menu here so let's make our menu a little bit of more awesome so let's grab the anchor tag here if I come here and grab the anchor tag and say that font size of about 2.5 pixel not 5 pixel RAM 2.5 RAM okay so font weight will be 100 not 100 500 letter spacing will be 0.2 RAM and text decoration will be none and also make it a color of white and text transform uppercase and padding of 20 pixel and display block now our menu is looking much better so as you can see that that's kind of this one but we need to make sure about the hamburger we will come it so we will come to it a bit later so after that make sure we have this effect as you can see that when I hover one item or one menu in the background we have a nice animation going on here so let's make it so for that what I need to do is I need to make a sort elements of our anchor tag so after and here let's say that content will be nothing for now and position will be absolute and also let's say that and also to make it center what I need to do is I need to make sure that it is top 50% and left 50% and transform will be translate minus 50% and minus 50% which will make it center so I can say it because 
we don't have any color so make sure that we have a color of let me copy this color that's RGB color and also what I need to do is I need to make it a font size of about 15 RAM so we have this big text here so letter spacing will be 50 pixel or 50 pixel like that and that's fine as you can see so also make sure that Z index uh, will be minus 1 so we can't see it so if I come here in the content and give it something like say that text and save so now we should see it so if I come to my site as you can see that we can see it so that's our text as you can see so but we do not need the text in the initial step so let me remove it so how we can remove it we can make sure so we can make a scale of 0 which will remove it so let's say that whenever I will hover the anchor tag I will see it so if I come here in the anchor tag so in the not in the anchor tag let's say that in the li if I hover I'll go to the anchor tag and after I will transform let me copy that one and make it one and if you are now can see that that's our text whenever I hover but I don't want to show the text I want to show if I hover the home I want to show the home in the background I if I hover the service I want to show the service in the background so to make it dynamic what I need to do is I need to come to the HTML and in this anchor tag I need to make a data attribute say that data dot after will be home so I need to make sure it for everyone so let's give it for the service it will be the service so for the projects it will be the projects so for the about it will be about and also for the content sorry contact so that's fine and how we can use it what I need to do is I need to make sure about here in the content I need to use attribute and here I will use data after now if I refresh so as you can see that if I hover in the background I have our home service projects about contact but as you can see that the latter spacing is so much big so in the hover let's also make the letter spacing about initial so as you can see that it's working let's also make a transition here so that we will have a smooth feelings so 0.3 pixel so 0.3 second is and it will be only for letter spacing if I save now as you can see that we are having this if you want you can say that 10 RAM font size which is looking good 12 app, 13 yeah I think 13 is better okay so that's fine the effect is working fine so after that let's make our hamburger menu so how we can make the hamburger if you want to know more about this topic the hamburger I have a full video on it you can watch it I will link it in the description how we can make responsive menu and hamburger menu like that so if you want you can check it out so let's make the hamburger menu so for that what I need to do so as you can see that in the HTML I have a div already for the hamburger which have a also another div of bar so I will use those to make the hamburger so here what I need is in the hamburger here let's make the hamburger
hamburger okay so hamburger so first of all make sure about the z index of 100 so that we can see it otherwise we can't see that because now we have this ul which is absolute position so we can't see it so let's make sure that we have a z index of 100 so after that let's make about height will be let's say that 60 pixel and also width will be 60 pixel and display will be inline block and also let's make a border let's say that border will be 3 pixel solid white color so border radius will be 50 percent and if i save not 55 50 percent so if i save as you can see that we can't see it in so we can't see it so also let's say that position will be uh, i mean yeah relative so as you can see that we can see it so after that let's come here and say that display will be flags and align items center and justify content will be center and that's fine by save and let's make the bars So, so let's make the bar and here what I need to do so also let's give it a pointer value in the hamburger so cursor will be pointer so that we can click it so in the bar what I need is uh, let's say that height will be 2 pixel and width will be 30 pixel and also position will be relative and background color will be white and let's make some z index of minus one so as you can see that that's our menu hamburger so let's also make two more so those will be are the sort elements of our bar so header hamburger bar so first one will be the after and second one will be the before and here what i need to do is i need to make sure that content is nothing and position is absolute and also height of 100% and width of 100% and left of left what will be left will be zero and background color will be white and transition no, 0.3 second is and transition property will be top and bottom so that's for our transition so also make sure about the position so for the first one let's say that top will be 8 pixel save as you can see that that's our first one and let's also make the second one sorry and it will be before and make sure that it is in the bottom now as you can see that that's our hamburger menu perfectly in paste so whenever I will click this menu I need to have a transition something like that as you can see that there's three when I click it will become one and when I also click it will come back in this three bar so for that let's create a JavaScript 
so it's a simple javascript actually so let's make a new file of app.js so to create a file what you can do is you can hover this as you can see that create new file so click that and name it app.js or anything as you want and in the html let's add this so in here let's say that script source which will be app.js and if i save in the app.js what i need to do is first of all i need to grab the hamburger menu so let's do the dom selection so constant hamburger is equals to document dot query selector and here let's say that header let me do it like this one so header and number and nav list and our hamburger hamburger so after that let's also have let me close this so after that let's also have the mobile menu mobile menu which is actually our this ul okay so how we can select this so in the nav list we have this ul so that's we'll select our mobile menu which is this ul so after that let's also grab our header we will need it in the future i will show you why so query selector and if i come here and say that how we can select this the selector is work like css selector as you can see that so that's will our header so after dom selection what i need to do is i need to come to the hamburger and add a event listener and here let's say that whenever i will click what it will do is it will make a function or it will run a function so in this function what i will do is in the hamburger which is our hamburger in the class list i will toggle a class so i will toggle this active class now if i save and and if i open my chrome dev tool as you can see that here so in the hamburger just come here so let me zoom it a little bit more so in the hamburger just notice that hamburger when i click there is a active class as you can see that when i again click it's gone so as you can see that properly so that's the class which we will work on it so let's come here in the hamburger so what i need to do is so let's say that whenever in the header i will have this hamburger active so whenever in this hamburger there will be active class i will do my change which will do this three line and turn it into a one line so how we can do what i can say is in the bar the before and also the after top zero and also bottom zero if i save now as you can see that and when i click it's now in position when i about when again i click but as you can see that if you notice if i click here there is a glitch actually glitch not glitch actually we need to fix it there is a bug so what i need to do is instead of doing this in one line or one style i need to do it in separately so let's say that this one will be for the before 
so as you can see that in the before we did it 8 8 pixel in the bottom so whenever it will be active it will be 0 so let's do it for the after in the after so as you can see that in the after I will make the 8 pixel in the top so we need to make it 0 pixel in the top so now if I give it now as you can see that we have this smooth effect going on here so that's looking good so also let's make our hamburger menu this menu functional so when I click it will come and whenever I also click it will be gone so how we can do that we can do it easily so if I come back to the jazz what I need to do is I need to same thing what I did in the hamburger so if I duplicate and instead of hamburger what I will do is I will say that mobile menu so it will toggle this active class now in the mobile menu also so if I save and come here and inspect now if you see that in the UL that's our mobile menu whenever I will click this now in the mobile menu I also have an active class so again as you can see that so that's fine so after that so first of all what I need to do is if I come to the UL where is the UL so here let's make it 100% the left if I make it 100% that will remove the menu from the screen so what I need is uh, what I need to do is whenever I will click this menu I can I want to make it 100% so I want to make it 0 so that I can see it so once again so how we can do it we can do it by active class which I showed you a moment before so what I can do is I can say that in the UL if there is any active class the left will be zero now as you can see it's looking perfectly functional when I click now it's like that whenever I also click it will be like that so it's fully functional as you can see that but we need a smooth transition so for the transition come here in the UL say that transition will be 0.3 second is and for only left okay so now it will be perfect as you can see that instead of 3 let's make it a bigger number 5 I think 5 is good as you can see that so if you want you can make it 80% so let's say that for 80% I need to make the left 20% so as you can see that now it's coming on 80% so for that you need to also make sure about the menu and style it as you want so for now I style it so that I can have zero so it will look like better so as you can see that it's working fine so if I come to my website so it's if I come to my end project as you can see that the menu is kind of a small so to do that what I need to do is in the hamburger let's make a transform transform scale let's say that point 0.8 now as you can see that our menu is smaller so which is looking nice also let's have some gap here so in here let's have some margin of 20 pixel so as you can see that or I need to make a specific margin right 20 pixel as you can see that we have 20 pixel gap in the right so in the right so that's looking perfect so also let's make this pulse effect as you can see that around this hamburger menu so how we can make this pulse so it's very simple we need to make a sort elements of this hamburger so let's make it and position absolute 
content nothing and height 100% and width 100% border radius 50% so that's fine so what I need to do is I need to make sure about the border so let's have a 3 pixel solid and white so if I give it so not 30 pixel it will be only 3 pixel so we have this 3 pixel we can't see it because it is in the hamburger so what I need to do is I need to make a keyframes so let's come to the keyframe section where it is yeah here it is so in the keyframes let's make a keyframes for our hamburger so let's name it hamburger pulse and here what I need is I need to say that in the 0% the opacity will be 1 and also transform scale will be 1 and also in 100% what I need is I need to opacity will be 0 and transform scale will be 1.3 let's say something like that and if I come here in my hamburger so it's in the header in the hamburger here so let's apply it in the after so let's say that animation hamburger hamburger pulse and let's say that 3 second is and for not forward infinite so as you can see that it's 3 second that's why it's taking too much time so one second so as you can see that we have this one second animation here going on if you want it to go more like this one what you can do you can change the S scale so instead of 1.3 let's say that it will go to 1.7 so it's going too much 1.5 yeah 1.5 is going best or 1.4 as you can see that it's looking fine this pulse so that's it I think that's what we need and last thing what I need we need to make sure about the menu in the desktop I don't need it in the desktop I need in the desktop the menu will be like this one and also I think I forgot one thing I need to make a hover effect in this icon not icon in this menu so if I come here in the UL here it is so in the UL ally yeah whenever I will hover the UL so let me copy this part and whenever I hover I want to change the color of our anchor tag to crimson color crimson not this one so as you can see that it's working fine so also make sure that about our desktop view so see so first of all in the desktop let's remove our hamburger so in the header we have this hamburger let's remove it so let's say that display will be none so it will remove this hamburger from here as you can see that also let's change our ul so header in the nav list the ul which will be the position initial and display will be block and height will be auto and also say that feed content so width will be fit content and if I save as you can see that that's our menu as you can see here also if you notice that our after which is going on here so also let's remove this 
and cortex after display will be none so if I hover as you can see that we can't see it anymore so what I need to do is I need to remove this background color as you can see so to remove this uh, background color what I can do is I can come to the UL and say that background color will be transparent it will remove this color and make it transparent as you can see so one more last thing to do which is we need to make it in a line so in a line so what I need to do is I need to make sure in the ally so in the header nav list ul ally and what I need to do I need to say that display will be inline block so which will make sure that our menu is now in inline block as you can see that perfect so also let's decrease the size of the anchor tag so in here let me copy this one and in anchor tag let's say that font size of about 2 rem or 1.5 rem or 1.8 rem perfect 1.8 rem so it's looking good as you can see that now our menu is looking like that and whenever i'll go to the tablet it will be like that with full functional of menu and in the mobile it will be also good as you can see that so that's fine So one more last thing to do as you can see that in our website whenever I hover so if I make it bigger so whenever I will scroll down so if you notice for now as you can see that we don't have any color in the background of our header as you can see that but whenever I will scroll down there is a background color as you can see that so that's what we will do now so if I once again if I go to the top there is no background color once again I last call there is a background color so that's what we will do now so for that we need to go to the JavaScript once again and here we need to write a little bit of code so document dot add event listener so here if I scroll in our window I will run this function so in this function let's create a variable which will say a scroll position and we can get the scroll position by saying that window dot scroll y this one scroll y yeah so it will get the scroll position in this variable so if I say that the scroll position is bigger than 250 means if I scroll position is bigger than this what I am doing I am doing that header dot style dot background not that style dot background color background color will be let me put the number 29323C. I think this one. So, also if it is in the top, what I need to do, I need to make sure that the background is transparent. So now if I come here as you can see that now our background is transparent but whenever I am coming here as you can see that we have this color but if you notice that it's coming so much first we don't have a smooth feelings for that so how we can make it with a transition so for that what I can do uh, I can come to the header 
and here as you can see that our background color what I need is I need to make a transition of 0.3 second is for the background color and if I save now let's test it so I know but I scroll and now as you can see that we have these smoke feelings of transition as you can see that so that's it so uh, last thing so let's activate this menu so now as you can see that whenever I click it's not doing anything so let's do it something so here as you can see that in every section what I did is I have this ID which is footer and for the contact I have a contact ID and for the post for the projects I have a project study as you can see that and each and every section I have this ID so through this ID what I will do is I will link the menu so for the home let's say that I will link it with the header as you can see that I have a header ID here so let's link it header and for the services I have to link it service section so uh, let's link it with the service section for the projects let's link it with the project section and for the about let's link it with the about section and contact let's leave it with the contact section and if I save now it will work perfectly so if it is our now as you can see that if I refresh if I click to the service okay services okay we have a spelling as you can see that uh, projects is working fine about is working fine contact is working fine home it's not working okay we need to make services like that and here as you can see instead of header let's use hero okay and if you notice that so whenever I am clicking it's doing too much first we don't have feelings about smoothness here as you can see that it's doing so much first so let's come here in the style.css and make it smooth scroll so what I can do in the HTML let's say that a scroll behavior will be smooth so whenever I will click now the links it will smoothly scroll up and down as you can see that so that's it as you can see everything is working fine awesome 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 stuff so that's it as you can see that our website is fully functional everything is looking much better as you can see that so let's also link this button with our portfolio so here in the hero section we have this button so portfolio which means our projects I save now if I click now it's perfect so one more thing as you can see that we have this scroll process going on that's the issue the last thing what we are facing so in the contact what I can do is instead of using something like that so let's remove this padding we do not need any padding here and here as you can see that it's gone but it's not fixed yet so let's come here in the item let's give it a width of 30 percent and also let's remove the margin from here so as you can see that that's removed the, all that other things and what I need to do is here let's say that justify content will be space around or a space evenly so as you can see that is it is a spacing evenly and in here what we can do we can make a padding of about 30 pixel so as you can see that we have 30 pixel or 50 pixel 
but it is spacing evenly as you can see so it will look better whenever I will go to the any of the device so also come here and say that margin 0 so that it remove all the margin from the and also let's pack it 30 pixel or 20 pixel or 0 we don't need any planning so as you can see that it's evenly giving a space around us so whenever I am having a width so that's fine as you can see that it's looking perfect this contact info so all the thing is going perfectly well as you can see that now we are in the mobile we are in every so as you can see we can what we can do we can do one more thing whenever i click i don't need to close it automatically whenever i click it will close automatically so for that what i can do uh, i can say that in the javascript let's come here and also grab the anchor tag so ul li and let's say that menu item and here and last thing what i can do that's the bonus point actually so menu item dot for each so instead of query selector we will use query selector all because there is one there is more item than one as you can see that we have this five menu going on here so for each so I will do that item and here let's say that item dot even listener and whenever I will click it I will do the same thing which I did with the hamburger so if I come here and paste and save it so as you can see that when I will click it it will close automatically so let's go to the projects so as you can see that we do not need to close it it will close automatically so that's fine that's what you can do so that's up to you what you can do the limit is there is no limit actually okay there is no limit you can do anything so for this video that's it as you can see that we have this fully responsive menu and we have this fully responsive section going on here and all the other thing is perfect and here as you can see that we have facing little problem here this scroll bar so it is actually my fault sorry for that so as you can see that we are mistake here we did something mistake so it will be margin so that's fine and here it will be about max width of 500 pixel so maximum 500 will be the width of this so that will fix the issue so that's not a big deal but you need to know about it so that's fine so well congratulations to you you successfully completed this project and if you make something similar like that with this project please let us know we have a facebook group that you can join and share your project with us i will be happy to see that what you made and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe for more video like this one and my name is arfan and i will see you in the next video or in the next project till then bye bye code half is.